welcome to the alignment and centering videos. If you've made it this far, congratulations. I know that sometimes it's tempting to just say, oh, I'll do these tutorials later, but um, these videos are short and to the point on purpose, and I'd love to hear uh, how far you've made it and how you're feeling about it. Uh, just tweet at me. I'm at WestBoss, W-E-S-B-O-S. Just tweet at me and say, hey, I made it to the alignment and centering videos, and uh, let me know what you're thinking of it. So uh, alignment and centering, the next four videos, I think this is kind of the meat and potatoes of Flexbox. These are some of the more important uh, parts of Flexbox, and I think stuff that you're actually coming here uh, to learn. So uh, what I've done here is I'm just in the alignment and centering uh, HTML here, but we've got still the same container and flex items that we're talking about. Um, and I've just said display flex on the container. So nothing else, nothing else. If you've got anything else in there, uh, make sure that you get rid of that. I just want them very basic. So uh, the other thing I want you to do is go to the CSS tricks article on Flexbox, and uh, this is a great reference for uh, everything that is in Flexbox. And we are going to be starting with uh, justify content. So what is justify content? Justify content says, how are the items aligned on the main axis? Now, hold on, what's the main axis again? Remember where we talked about that in the video before? The main axis by default is from left to right across the screen from your left to right. And the, what's this one called again, where it goes top to bottom, top to bottom. That's the cross axis. Good, good, great job. Uh, so we aren't concerned with vertically centering right now. Uh, we are, well, I shouldn't say vertically centering because if the, they switch, then we would, we'll look at that in a second. But we are only concerned about how are these items here aligned on the main axis, which right now is from left to right. Oh. Let's go ahead and go into CSS and we will say justify content. Now justify content has a number of different options. Uh, we have flex start, which is the default. So if I say flex start, refresh, nothing happens. That because the items are aligned to the start of the flex container, right? So uh, again, left to right, they start here. You probably figured out that we also have flex end, which means that the flex container is we can't really see it right now, but if I say border 10 PX solid misty rose, best color ever, you'll see that this is the flex container. It's kind of going all around here with this little pink border. So it starts on the right hand side because that's the end of our flex container. What else do we have there? We've got center. Give it a save, refresh and it will just align its center there. We don't have to do any margin tricks or anything that doesn't really make sense. It actually just makes the sense to say justify content. Uh, we've got one called space between, which this is kind of cool. So right now, before I did any of that, our items are just as wide as the amount of content. So most of them are just as wide as a single number, except for 10, it's a little bit different. And in a future video, we're gonna be looking at uh, the flex property, which will allow you to divvy the, the space up. However, if you don't have that, or if you have maybe put a width on them, uh, or you just have a natural width on them, which is the case right now, if you say space between, it's just gonna start the first one at the flex start, the last one at the flex end, and it's just gonna divvy up the rest of the space in between each one. It's really nice because if you're doing this with floats, you'd have to do a whole bunch of different math to be able to figure out, all right, I have 10 items, but I only have nine spaces in between, and how do I work all of that out with margins? So space between, um, and we also have space around. So what's the difference between space between and space around? Maybe think about it real quick. Three, two, one, refresh. Okay, so what just happened there is uh, it also took into account the spacing on the left and the right. So sometimes when you're making grid or a column or something like that, you don't want space on the left and the right, which is why you have to figure out that you have the space in between them. Um, but space around will give it you space on the left and the right. How come this space right here looks to be only about quite a bit less than this one here? Uh, is it because of the border or is it because of something else? It's because on this one, one on the right hand has some space and two on the left hand has some space. So it's not actually perfectly centered like that. Even if you take the border off, uh, you'll see that this space is only half of what we have there. So those are all of them. Again, we got flex start, which at the start. Flex end at the end, center pops them right in the middle. And we've got space between and space around, which do uh, a number of different 
divvying up of the less the available space. Now let's real quick talk about uh, switching around the flex direction because uh, I'm really stressing that our main axis is from left to right and our cross axis is from top to bottom. However, we learned in the previous video that when you go ahead and change that, so by default, the flex direction is set to what? You tell me, correct, That's it is set to row by default. So that's not gonna do anything. But if I change it to column, give it a save and refresh, like it's just totally different. And this is generally where people get confused as to Flexbox because you change it to column and all of a sudden all of that really nice spacing is gone. Um, and the, the reason why this is happening is because of two things. First of all, how high is this container here? I'm gonna put this border back on a refresh. How high is it? Well, this border goes all the way down. It's really just as high as the content needs to go. Uh, and if you made this content any bigger or smaller, it would just kind of go ahead on up and down with it. So for us to actually take advantage of justify content, when we switch the main access from row, which is left to right, to column, which is top to bottom, is we need to actually give this container a height. So I'm just going to go ahead and say min height 100 VH like we did in the past videos, and that will set a fixed height on the, or at least a minimum fixed height on there. Refresh, that does nothing. Why? Because these are way too big for it. It's actually spilling on out of it. So uh, how do we make these items a little bit smaller so we can actually visualize that? Now let's go back to here and change these to 20. Does that work? Perfect. So now we are still on justify content space around, but let me uh, change that back to flex start. Okay, so now our flex container is this pink border here, it goes all the way down into the bottom. And we are at the flex start, which instead of going from left to right, because the main access was left to right, now our main access is top to bottom, it's going to start at the top. So you can probably figure out what happens when we make it flex end, it starts them at the bottom and goes on up. Uh, same goes for if we change it to center. And there, that's the big kahuna. Everyone wants to know how do I vertically center something with Flexbox. And that is one of the ways we're gonna look at a couple more uh, ways that might not set, cause you might not want columns. In your case, you still might wanna stick with your rows, uh, but that's definitely one of them. Uh, again, space between, better between. <laughs> you're going to see the space between similarly space around is going to give you some space at the top and the bottom. So again, when you're doing this stuff, just always stop, ask yourself, where is my main access? Where is my cross access? Tell me right now, where's our main access top to bottom? Where's our cross access left to right? So, okay, that's good. In the next video, we're going to be looking at a line items, uh, which is uh, sort of the flip flop of this. Um, instead of working the main access, we're working on the cross axis. So see you in that video.